today on Divorce Court. I married Eric so soon is because I thought he was my soulmate. Yeah, I've caught in several lies. I can't trust her. He has been going out drinking, coming home drunk, and didn't want to get mad at me. I take a little sip of wine when I got out work, and I deserve that. But all this building it up that I'm drinking to get drunk is a lie. I know who I am. He don't know who he is. That's what his problem is. He's the jealous person. There has to be trust. There has to be loyalty. There has to be communication. And there's none of that with us now. Ain't no way in hell that we're going to ever get back together. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Joanna Maps and Eric Maps. The two of you have been married for two years. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have no children together, but you each have children from previous relationships. Uh, you do not want to be married anymore. Mrs. Maps, you want uh, a significant amount of money from Mr. Maps as you leave, and we will get to that momentarily. But I'm going to start with you, Mrs. Maps. Why don't you tell me um, how we got here today? Tell me how you met and how things happened. Well, me and Eric Maps met at church. At the beginning, we were compatible, everything went well. It seemed like this man was sent from me, actually from God. That's, a, that's exactly how I felt, and then tables turned. Tables it, turned? Immediately. Really? No, I'm no, not hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. How long did you know him before you started to feel like he was a gift from God? Three to four months. What about him was so wonderful in that three to four months that you did believe that, that he was your blessing? We had everything in common. <clears throat> Every time that we go anywhere or do anything, it was just great. I mean, going out dates, having fun, mm -hmm. going to the basketball games, all of that. It was just great. It was just fun. It, and I, I was happy. I ain't looking to mess with your faith at all because mm -hmm. I don't like nobody messing with mine. But let me tell you this. The first 90, 120 days is always fun. Exactly. You guys are getting to know each other. It's exciting. Everything is new. And once you stamp it with the, the imprimatur of gift from God, you excuse all of the problems that you see in the future because you already believe that he is your blessing, not, not just a man who you need to assess. Right. That's the only thing I'm going to say right there. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Maps. What is your version of the we met and fell in love story? Okay, she's right. We met at church. We mm -hmm. met at church, and everything was smooth. But it, it, it just, it was signs at the beginning that I seen, and I, and I looked over because I really wanted to work with her. Right. And, and, and it was, I guess it was a rush thing because mm -hmm. I'm in the church, I was deep in the church, and when the sex started, I didn't want to fornicate. Right. Okay, so I wanted to do the right thing. Do the right thing, I yeah. wanted to do the right thing. And being a man of God, I wanted to do the right thing, so I kind of put, oh, either we're going to stop having sex or we're going to get married, you know? And she, she said, okay, well, let us get Let's married. Let's go get married. Yes. Never give a woman of something and then marriage. Yeah. They'll always pick marriage. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, that's just, you know, from me to you, okay. a, li a little hint there. Tell me what some of the signs you now see that you ignored in the beginning. Okay, one of the signs, we, we was in an argument, and I went over her apartment. It was like 1 in the morning, 1.30 in the morning, but I didn't knock on the door, and her light was on in her bedroom. So I was just sitting on the stairs, and she opens the door, just opens the door. She has a green Nesgley on, her hair's fixed up, but she's saying she's showered and getting ready for bed. But she don't know I'm sitting out there. So when she opened the door, I'm, I shot mm -hmm. her. Right. And uh, she asked me to come on in, I come on in, and. I'm already thinking, okay, you wasn't waiting for me, or you wasn't looking for me, who you opened the door for, okay? Right, so right. we go to the bedroom, we on the bed, she said, okay, let me plug my phone up. She leans over to plug her phone up, stays over there about three or four minutes. So in my mind, I said, okay, she's texting What's... somebody, telling them don't, don't come, come because somebody's here. That was one of the signs I seen, okay? okay? Ms. Maps, do you recall that instance? I recall it Tell me what, what you so. say happened. He lying because I, oh my he God. knew that he was, I, he knew he was coming, and I seen through the peephole that he was sitting there and already knew you that he was You can't see drunk. me through the stop, peephole. Stop. Hang, hang yes, on, hang on. you can. Go ahead. And I seen let me, you let from my bedroom story. window. I seen him from my bedroom window. I had, I, my, normally my hair is natural, and I was in an afro, and so if I'm in the shower, of course it's gonna get wet, and it looks like it was combed Yonder. or whatever. Hang on. And so I had cleaned out my closet because I knew, you know, things was going on between us, and I was trying to make room for him, and I seen my... It, it was a pajamas. It wasn't negligent. It was mm. just a regular old pajamas and pants. 
And so when I opened the door, he's like, who are you waiting for? I said, what do you mean, who am I waiting for? I already knew you was coming, so what kind of sense does that make that I'm finna bring somebody over? That's just stupid. Yeah. I'm not finna bring somebody over knowing that you're there. Right. And so he, he just saying that I was cheap, having somebody come over. Okay. That's not even me and my child. I don't bring anybody around my children. If you believe that she was doing so much wrong, why'd you marry her? Exactly. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, even, it, was. even, it wasn't clear to you at it the time. Th yeah. That one thing, all this, all the rest of the stuff came out. Even to the point we were dating, when we got together, I eighty six everybody off my Facebook. Anything that was questionable. Right. She had like six hundred single men on her on her page. I said, so if I'm your man, why you got all these different men on your page that you can't get rid of? We argued about a month before she decided. You know what? No you know you're right. I'm gonna get rid of them. I shouldn't have them. I said you shouldn't have them. If Half I'm your man, why cousin. you going why you gonna have all these single men on your Facebook? Mm-hmm. You, you should... know that they weren't relatives or After they they I told they, them... they jugging at her. Oh, they, they give they, 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 they jugging. That means they were they were get trying to get with her through no, messenger. They jugging. Yeah, that's what jugging means. That's another one for the divorce court thank dictionary. You. I never heard jugging before, but yeah. thank you for that. I always yeah. like to learn a new word. Yeah. I appreciate that. So. Now we're, I'm gonna get you married. We're, we're at a point you married, and once you got married, things got worse. So I want to talk about what happened when things started to get worse. So she gets mad, started cussing me out, backs her car up, rounds my car at once, backs her car up, and rounds my car twice. Wow. This is Maps to Dad a car. Mrs. Maps, I assume that the jealousy issues continued even after you were married. Tell me what went on. One day, Your Honor, I had went and took my God baby to the mall, right. having a good time with my God baby. And I came home, put the baby to sleep, and everything seemed to be okay. And so we had sex or whatever, and he came back and laid down in the bed with me. And so he had powder all on his face. So I said, what are you doing? What's going on there? And he's talking about nothing. What are you talking about? Oh, that's just so-and-so. I said, you've been smelling my panties again, haven't you? <laughs> and he's talking about, no, what are you talking about? I said, yes, you did, because I put my panties in a certain position. <laughs> Mr. Maps, were you smelling her this, underwear? This started, Your Honor, she got mad at me one night. It's maybe 10 o'clock. She left. Didn't come back to almost 1 o'clock, right? And she said she was out of it, you know, because she had took some of her medication. But the next, when we had sex, the, uh, her shorts and stuff was on the floor, but the, her, the crotch was wet. So I pick it up, it smells like ivory soap. So if you're, going to, if you're going out to the store, why would you have to wash yourself? Why would you have to wash yourself? So I asked her that, she said, well, I went to Raw, uh, Raw store and I put lotion on my legs and just rubbed the lotion up too high. I said, why would you put lotion and chain clothes in the parking lot to go into the store? Because I had, I had on booty shorts just to make him mad. I don't do that. And so, I, when I went out, I put lotion on me. Because uh, I'm not finna be ashy. Be ashy. Yeah, exactly. I know you can't be ashy. You can't exactly. be ashy. So, when I did go to the department store, I, I had clothes in my trunk I and you. I put I... a skirt on. Because I'm not finna walk around looking like that because that's not who, who I am. Who has clothes I got, in their I got you, I got you. Who has clothes in their car? Another, m m Mr. Really? Maps, hang on, hang as on. As much Mr. clothes Maps, as I have in my car. Stop. Stop, Mrs. Maps. Mr. Maps, why don't you tell me about the time you went over your mother's house after you were separated, and then there was a, some situation with the car. Okay, I went to my mother's house. She's supposed to be bringing some of my items to me. When she gets there, everything's okay. She set my stuff on the curb, and she said, let me see this video that you said you could see this guy in, my, in the glasses having sex with me. I said, won't you look at it on your own phone? So she said, well, I don't have the, the app no more. I deleted it. I said, why would you delete it? And, and you saying that I'm lying and I made it up. If, if, if it was me, and she said, I did something. If I had the proof of my phone, I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to keep it. If I can show somebody, look, I didn't do this. Right, Okay? Right. So she said, well, let me see it on your phone. When I tried to show it to her, she tried to grab my phone, and I grabbed it back. So she gets mad, started cussing me out, backs her car up, rounds my car at once, backs her car up, and rounds my car twice. Whoa! Wow! Mrs. Maps, did that occur? Yes, because I was so sick and tired of getting accused of things that I did not do. I don't cheat. I don't cheat nobody because I paid for the wedding, our honeymoon, because I love this man. 
I wanted it to work between us. I, I, I put my everything into Eric Maps. He's his own enemy, not me. He's fighting himself, not me. Okay. I know what I've done, and I'll refuse to keep living like this because of him. I got it. I got, I'm with you. I'm with you. Mr. Uh, hang on, Mr. Maps. Hang on, Mr. Maps. I understand that the situation got so serious that you demanded a uh, lie detector test. Yes, Your Honor. And I, I want... I, I, if you don't stop it, I run this thing, yes, not you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so I'm going to turn our attention now to the lie detector test that she took. Why would she talk to you on video chat if there was another because man in the wanted, bed with her? Because she wanted to detour me before coming home because she had this guy in the house. You really think that, Would you accuse your partner of cheating without any proof? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce court will be right back. So Mr. Maps, I understand that you actually got her to take a lie detector test. Tell me what about the test, why you had her take it, and what the results okay, were. Okay, first, I didn't have her take any. She suggested we take the test. Okay. And you know, and when she said that, I told her, I said, you're gonna fail it. You're gonna fail it before I come. She said, I'm gonna prove to you I'm not gonna fail it. Okay, I paid for the test. But I told her, I said, you really wanna take this test because you can't pass it. She said, yes, I wanna take it. I got the proof right here. Okay, let me see, let me see that. Mrs. Maps, as I'm looking at the results of the lie detector test, why don't you tell me what caused you to volunteer to take it and, uh, and, and, and what happened? Because I know I'm telling the truth. I never cheated on Eric Maps. And I wanted to prove to him, and you didn't pay the full of it. I had put in my money, too. Oh, and so when God. I went in there to take the test, because nothing, I've never gone through anything like this in my life, anything. And so I love this man so much to try to prove to him She's anything. Tell you any, why she ain't nobody out. talking to you. Any way possible that I could show him that I did not take the test. I went in crying, nervous, scared, everything. And my girlfriends, everybody said, you're already a nervous person, Joanna, so it, and you're not... I don't even believe you're gonna fail it. I mean, uh, pass it. And so I was like, yes, I am, because I'm innocent. Mm -hmm. I am innocent. I haven't done did anything. Did he have a lot of setup questions? Yes. And, and, and pretest yes, questions and I all never, of that? Yes, and then I... And I tried to calm myself down because I know the lie detector test goes on your heart rate. Mm -hmm. And so I kept trying and trying. And I figured that this man only wanted the money because if he seen how upset I was knowing that it was going to be incorrect. Right. I got you. Now, Mr. Mash, let me ask you a question. Why would she suggest that she take it if she knew she was going to fail? Okay. I feel like, honestly, I feel like that she thought she was going to pass it because she can get herself calmed down maybe with her medication to pass the test. Because I knew she couldn't, she couldn't pass it on Do her Do you own. think she was sleeping with any particular individual or is it just random guys? No, what do you it, think it is was, happening? It was, as far as my, my knowledge, it was two particular individuals. Have you ever had any discussions with them? Have you ever caught oh, those I talked, two I guys? I talked to one of them. We had words back and forth. I talked to one of them. Mm -hmm. and he pretty much admitted uh, he could have her whenever he wanted to. That's a lie. He said it to you. That's a lie. I understand he said you to have me. videotape that shows that she had another guy in her bed. The I, guy, I, I got, the guy ain't a... even visible. All you see is my... Well, I'm gonna look at it for myself. Okay. So, as, as I'm looking at this tape, Mr. Maps, why don't you tell me how you got it? Okay, she was calling me to tell okay. me to go pick up her daughter. Right. right? She's at home by herself. So if you're at home by yourself laying in the bed and you're talking to me, why are you moving yourself over to make room for somebody else? I move my head I'm fool. talking to the judge. I don't care. I'm talking to you. And then you can see, the, move and my then you head. Can see the bed move up and down because somebody's getting in the bed. I don't know what I'm looking at here. All I do, I know, is her hand isn't steady. How can you detect movement when her hand is exactly. never in one position more than two seconds? You know, honored, exactly. It's, it's, it's the phone. When she's talking to me, and then... And it, how in the world am I going to have... She moves over. And then she's talking to me, and then the bed moves like this. I'm That's not moving. It. The bed ain't even moving. moving. My hand is moving. The bed is not the moving. The bed is not moving. Is moving. It's honor. It's, and I, had, I had to record that on another phone, and I was still. That's her. If you had the original, it would be moving. Why would she talk to you on video chat if there was another because man in the wanted, bed with her? Because she wanted to detour me before coming home because she had this guy in the house. That's stupid. You 
Mr. Think that, Mr. Mr. Yes, I really his do. mind is I really warped. Do. I really do. His mind really is warped, Because it's Honor. the same day that she had supposed to been making the ribs. Uh, yes, take, I was making marinated take, ribs. Make, Marinate, ribs. I've never out. done this before, and, and I'm marinating some ribs. So I videotape it. Eric, is this the way I'm supposed to be doing? He's thinking somebody behind me. Uh, no, Seriously, I'm, while I'm, I'm marinating I'm, some no, ribs. That, that wasn't while I'm, I'm marinating about. some ribs. No, I'm talking about. Hey, 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 hey. I'm so glad y'all getting a divorce. I don't know what to do. Yes. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the money that you want. We're gonna make some resolution. I'm gonna try to put it back on sane somewhere, and then we're gonna move on. How would you convince a suspicious partner that you're not cheating? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Mrs. Maps, as you leave this relationship, you would like $1,500 from Mr. Maps because you say that's how much you spent, not him, you putting together your honeymoon. Why don't you tell me about that? Yes, I wanted us to have a good time. I didn't want us to have no, oh, we don't have enough money for this, for that. Because I, I love this man, you know, I do. And I still love him, even though he degraded me to a point where I couldn't even take it no more, making me have low self-esteem. And, and never in my life have I had low self-esteem at all. And so when we went, we had a wonderful time. It was lovely. We've always had a good time. But it is his jealousy that killed my soul. And I refuse to keep letting him do this to me. I am a good woman, a very good woman. And I was trying to show him. And he kept saying, this is too good to be true. You keep speaking on something, it's going to come to pass. So I kept telling him to stop. Let me show you how a woman is supposed to treat a man. But he kept digging and digging and digging and found a stupid video with me shaking my head up and down, saying, yeah, baby, I'm freaky for you. He seen somebody screwing me in my glasses. Seriously? He goes to work, put it on video, showing it to my mama, my sisters, my friends, Aww. degrading me like I'm this horrible person, but I'm still lifting my head because I know that I did nothing wrong to this man but try to love him. That's it. Mr. Mapp, she's not gonna get in. I, I, I feel you. I feel you and I believe you. Teth notwithstanding, I feel you and I believe you. Uh, you can't get any money out of him because that's the money that you spent and you invested in your relationship and that's what it is and you can't get any money for it. I'm going to say this to you, to you, Mr. Maps. I think you blew it. You are so afraid of looking bad that you made up in your head what you feared. And whether or not she was or wasn't doing it, it didn't matter because it became an ultimate truth in your head and everything yes. she said, everything she did yes. was going to mirror that false truth that you had in your head. I hope before you ever get in a relationship with anybody else again that you go get somebody, go in that head and look about and see what's there because all of the stuff you're saying, only that, all the other stuff didn't make any sense. It's the symptom of a fearful mind. Mm, yes, Jesus. And, and uh, that fearful mind damaged her, and in the end, it will damage you. I don't think you're a bad guy. I think you're a broken guy. Yes, and Jesus. I, and I hope you can get fixed up. Thank you. There will be no recovery in this matter. This court is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. I lost the love of my life. I didn't ever, ever think that it would come to this point. Because I told I kept telling him over and over again, you have the pen to write this story, and now you wrote the end. I really wanted to work with her, you know, but who can be with a cheater? There, there's no way a, a person can be with somebody they can't trust.